have some green here as well, a little bit. Let's extend. Just cover it nicely. Like that. Okay. And let's maybe leave some green here and there. Where the darker areas are. Like green, like that. Here. Okay. Maybe here a little bit. And then under here. Okay. So now we're going to dry it out. And it's going to be ready for highlighting again gonna take again our dry brush and we're gonna use the the normal green that's gonna be our middle tone okay and again just dry your dry your brush completely Okay. And again, just just go over it and see how nicely this is coming up. Look at that. And just leave maybe the area surround darker. So don't overdo it with the green. Green is quite strong. Just a little bit everywhere but not on the sides maybe but you can go you can go lighter if you want it's gonna be more like a cartoony style if you go if you do it that way okay so this is just first highlight don't forget that there's gonna be another one okay You see how nice this texture is coming up now. When you have a paint over. That's that's great. Perfect. And now we're gonna add some white to a green then overdo it of course and then again dry completely even more because this is final highlight and let's go over it again and this is my favorite part the last final highlights so again, here and there, just a little bit. Okay. 
you don't want this final highlight which is quite uh, bright everywhere so just here and there okay I think it looks great looks really nice okay now on to mushrooms we want to we want to do them so that the mushroom trunk needs to be kind of whitish just okay we're gonna add a little just a little bit of red well we're gonna use those Two, prepare those two, yellow and red. Okay, and we're gonna add just a little bit of yellow, just a little bit to the white. Just a little bit and a little bit of red even less than yellow okay so we want to make this kind of not completely white white mushroom a little bit more white okay so because in nature there is no real real white you can't find that anywhere Okay, and then we're gonna just do the tree trunk first and the bottom of it. Maybe a little bit more white. And you could add freely some water because it's the second layer and you don't need full full color like a full intensity of the color because you're already coloring first layer so you have a base Okay, so we're just going over it. Like that. A little bit more water. We're gonna make, of course, red crazy mushrooms. <laughs> they look nice. There's a lot of actually colorful mushrooms. Crazy colors. <laughs> yeah, usually in nature, you should never eat something that is really, really bright. <laughs> so be careful. like mushroom telling you don't eat me I'm I'm warning you <laughs> I'm bright I'm warning you not to eat me <laughs> okay 
And a lot of mushroom wants to be eaten because that's how they spread their spores. Animals eat them and then we should we leave a lot of it behind when they're walking. Okay. So the bottom, we'll probably do some green around to cover the gonna go with the green later on okay and now for the top for the top you're gonna go with red and I'm gonna show you this technique it's called the uh, wet blending you can do it as well with the with the uh, paper towel and you make it a little bit wet but with the um, acrylics you can just do it with a, a little bit um, watered down acrylic but for now i'm just going to do really quickly a first layer of red see how nice and bright the red the red is now because of the white underneath Try to be so it's gonna be like a small red will go a little bit underneath as well. This edge. There. This one, okay. Small kind of strip of red underneath. Doesn't have to be like perfectly fine. And that it doesn't have to go over the white part again. White is quite difficult to cover. I mean, uh, it's difficult to cover with the white compared to red. Red is covering everything like crazy. It's difficult to actually paint it over. Okay, so we have our first layer of red. Okay, and now we're gonna dry them with the fan. Make sure that there is no like a thick parts of paint. Okay, let's do that.
Ok. And now, so now I'm going to show you how we're going to do this wet blending. So I want to do some yellowish kind of tone at the edges of the mushroom. Usually you would do like maybe highlights on top with the yellow. But uh, when you check the photos of the mushrooms, they usually have like on around here, around the edges of them not on top so what we're gonna do is just so we put another re layer of red and make it a little bit more put some water in water it down okay and nicely cover it And now we're going to just you take a little bit of yellow while it's wet and then just work on the edges with the yellow. Like that. That's why it's called wet blending. And then we're going to repair it with a little bit of red. So a little bit more yellow. Like that. Not repair it, we're just gonna add blend it more with the red up a bit, finish with yellow. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit more red again and just go over just where the yellow and red meets like that. And then you can dry a little bit your brush and then just kind of rub it together like that. Yeah, so we get, got this nice yellowish kind of tone. Yeah, I touched green okay but uh, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow I want it to be more obvious okay and then again red Just go over the edges. Wet blending. Okay, and now let's do the same with other mushrooms. Cover it with red. that and then we're gonna add yellow again at the bottom just like that and then mix them with the where the edges are. It's almost like the paint is doing it by itself. Like that. Okay, and let's do it for the third one. Okay. 
like that, and then yellow. And that, dry a brush a little bit. Just blend it, blend again. Just like that. They <coughs> really look nice now. Yeah, and that's almost it. All we need to do now is put uh, the white dots. Okay, I'm gonna put some more yellow here. paints are much easier actually for blending but then you have to have a special varnishes over them and it's much much uh, tedious work to do especially on polymer clay okay and now we're gonna do the white dots okay so how we're gonna do white dots is that we're gonna use a little bit smaller brush but you can do you can do that the same thing with the bigger brush okay so as you can see just leave the thick color paint oh, it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be like a perfect it's not perfect in nature it's and it's quite uh, a relief you know it's it's not like a color is not blend in it's almost like it's a um, textured you know so it's fine if you leave like like that even dried white color would be actually great just like that Mine is quite dry here. Okay, and then just finish this side here. So my white is quite dry and that's helping me. Because it's leaving the almost like a small bolt on top. So try to go around horizontally. Like a dry you see it's really nice. It leaves the so it's just basically leaving blobs. More like blobs. nice actually <laughs> so you can actually leave white to dry and it will dry by the time you're at this 
section of painting. So just all you have to do is just like put the paint. It's all, it's not almost like a painting. It's almost just putting paint on top. Just leaving it there. Look, you see, just touching with the brush. See how it leaves the. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. How it's textured. We want that. Yeah, great. Finally, all paint have purpose. <laughs> Not smell like really drying. Okay, we dried out too much. Okay, I think that looks great. Yeah, and last thing, we're, what we're gonna do is just uh, to finish up the the green thing, the the bottom of the mu mushrooms, to kind of blend a little bit. Uh, where they where they connect into the tree trunk. So we're gonna mix like a real dark green. Maybe a little bit dry brush it. Like that. I think that's fine. Yeah, this is basically finished. I think it looks really nice. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I really enjoyed ma making this, and I hope I hope you're gonna try it out. As I said, it's something that you can do in one afternoon from sculpting to baking and to finishing it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably put it like on a nice maybe on a, on a bottle cap like that like a nice kind of stance maybe glue it down and yeah okay that's it I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one. Please, uh, please consider subscribing if you like this tutorial. I'll, I'll make sure to make more. There's gonna be a lot of stuff happening uh, soon enough. And uh, yeah, hope I'm gonna be entertaining you enough. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.